In its 28th August press release, the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, explained that payment processes for 22 of the defunct fund management companies will commence in September, while payments for clients of Black Shield and others will only begin after their liquidation orders are secured. The news did not go down well with customers of Black Shield Capital, formerly Gold Coast Fund Management Limited, who have described the arrangement as unfair. In a response to the SEC's initial press release, Black Shield Capital said it was unhappy that its clients will not benefit from the first phase of government's bailout package. They essentially blame the SEC for this situation. In an interview with City Business News, some disgruntled customers called for an end to the media banter between the SEC and Black Shield Capital and asked to be included in the phase one of the bailout package to assuage their plights. Joseph Aite, secretary of the Coalition of Aggrieved Customers of the defunct fund management companies and an 80-year-old pensioner, Quisi Silvio's Gilbert Arthur, spoke to City Business News. Past two years, People have died as a result. You know, issues about economic rights are human rights issues. Please. I mean, if we're going to continue these legalities and long story writing this, I mean, my point even is that why is SEC engaging in this public banter? I think we should move away from this. This is not what will bring us our money. Whatever is happening, we don't believe in any red tapism. We are dying. We don't believe in any red tapism. Nana, 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 do. Please, your bailout. Let us have ours. Forget about all the paperwork. Or we, the best is just get us and dish out some money to us. Then you can go and see the red tapis people. We don't believe in those things. We are dying. Since this uh, January, we, our brothers, our sisters, elderly people are dead. Some of them have medical conditions. The two are also calling on the key stakeholders, the SEC, Black Shield, as well as the customers, to engage and address all impediments for payments to be effected once and for all. Go because if they are willing to work with SEC, they should come out publicly. We don't want to see it on paper, just reading it. They should come out and talk publicly like I'm talking publicly and tell government that they are ready to work with SEC or tell SEC that they are ready to work with them. There is too much uh, uh, hidden tactics. And we, the old people, we don't have time for hidden tactics or unnecessary uh, diversions. If it is really true that they are taking certain steps, which is putting an impediment on the way of SEC and the government to help people like my father here, then what we are saying all together is that we should all meet and those impediments should be moved off so that we have a successful payment of our funds. Okay, basically that is what we are calling for because we cannot continue like this for, for, for how long are we going to do this? Okay, so I think the public banter and the back and forth should cease at a point. Let's all meet at the table and have a way forward on this matter. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our City TV YouTube channel for more videos on the business dashboard. Tune in and stay updated on the key business news stories of the day with Business Dashboard every weekday at 7 p.m. only on City TV.